26 Live at 6. As the recall primary for governor creeps closer, things heat up for both candidates and taxpayers. County clerks say the recall could get costly around the state. From printing ballots to bringing in extra staff, it's predicted to have a price tag close to a million dollars. NBC 26's Heather Burke is in the Green Bay newsroom with our big story at 6. Yeah, Stacy, things are really starting to add up. Both political experts and county clerks just hope people go to the polls so it's not a waste of taxpayer money. People have no idea what count goes into all of these elections. Darlene Marcel's hands don't stop moving. We're putting all of the legal notices together. We're getting the ballot stock together. As the Brown County clerk, she prepares for the governor recall elections, which come with a price. The legal notices in the paper are very expensive. The ballots, um, the programming of the ballots, and then the printing of the ballots, that's all very expensive. Marcel says last year's Senate recall elections cost Brown County close to $150,000. Keep in mind, there's 71 other counties in the state. I would imagine your larger counties will cost a little more simply because they have more precincts. Possibly costing the state close to a million bucks. Political analyst David Linning says another cost fake Democratic candidates. It's kind of silliness. It costs. You have to print those ballots up, you have to go through the whole process and then count those <laughs> ballots. Since taxpayers fund the vote, Lenning hopes there won't be a riff between Democrats. Supporters of the candidate does not win the primary, are they less likely to vote on election day. Marcel hopes that's not the case. I think it's important after spending all this money and all the resources that people go out and vote. Litting says one thing that doesn't really cost the state are some of the campaign ads that are running on TV. He tells us some candidates get support from outside of Wisconsin. Live in the Green Bay Newsroom, Heather Burke, NBC 26.